we are about to head out because we have absolutely zero dog supplies and it is Tuesday and we get our dog on Saturday. So we have to go buy like everything. We're hoping that we can get a crate from Facebook Marketplace because there was someone selling on it, one on there that's the exact size that we need. So fingers crossed for that. And if not, we'll just have to go pick one up on Friday or something. But we're gonna go get like food and a dog bed and toys and all that good stuff. Big bed. So we just got back from doing some dog shopping and we got lots of stuff. We got a bed, we got food. I'll show you some of the just kind of like fun treats and stuff that we picked up at Winners and HomeSense. We got a comforter for inside the crate because I've been doing some research online and they said that it's easier to wash a comforter than it is to wash like crate pads. So it's just as easy to throw a big one of the, them in there and it'll be nice soft cushioning because greyhounds don't have a ton of body fat. So my favorite thing that we got is this coat. So um, most greyhound coats need to be specially fitted but we knew that we were gonna need one um, pretty much immediately after getting them because it's starting to get cold and we wouldn't have time to take the measurements to get it like specially fitted so we got this one and it's just great I dropped it um, it's just kind of like standard um, and it doesn't need like any type of special measurements so we just made sure that it was long enough and I think it's really cute and we'll keep their body nice and warm because super fluffy on the inside we got a few different types of toys, including a rope toy, kind of a plushie, and two different Kongs that we can fill up with peanut butter for them. We also got some treats, poop bags, a poop bag holder, um, some shampoo. This is a bowl. Um, it's all wrapped up, but it's a Ray Dunn bowl, and I'm really excited. I think it's really cute. It says rescued on it, because we're adopting them as a rescue. And I got this stain and odor remover with a bioenzymatic formula in case of accidents. We were at Costco and we got these chicken jerky things because they were on sale and we thought they looked good. We really have no idea what we're doing. Um, there's some other stuff in here that's like wipes, bones. We got a calming spray, um, a brush. We got leashes and collars. Um, so this is like a reflective leash that's like their regular leash that they'll, or not leash, collar that they'll wear all the time. And we got um, the Martingale collar, which is what they need for walks because their heads are actually smaller than their necks. So they need a specific type of collar that they won't slip out of while they're out for walks. And then we got the leash that matches the first collar and it's also reflective in case we take them out at night. Today is doggo day. We are just about to go to our pre-adoption session and then we get our foster this afternoon. So we are fostering with intent to adopt. So it means that we get a dog for like two weeks and then we have first option to adopt them. But it gives us a chance to make sure that they're comfortable in our home and that we're comfortable with them. And if not, then like no hard feelings and it helps the adoption um, agency and their program to not have to worry as much about rehoming dogs later on if something isn't a good fit. Because we don't have kids and we don't have any other pets, we most likely, like, it would be really difficult for us to have an issue with the dog. So probably the dog that we get today, we are going to be officially adopting. And I'm just so excited. We don't know anything about them, but we do our pre-adoption session and then we help them bring in the fosters and then we take our foster home at like we get our foster at like four so it should be a really good day and i'm so excited to show them to you this is king he's our new dog we ended up once we got there we found out that we could just straight adopt instead of doing foster with intent to adopt so we did that so he's officially our dog um, his name was Phelps, so that's why his muscle says Phelps, um, but we are renaming him King. That is, like, not a problem at all with the dogs for you to rename them. That's totally, like, normal and expected when they get adopted into homes. So his name is going to be King, King Louis, like King Louis from the Jungle Book. Um, but we're going to just call him King for now. He's wearing a muzzle, um, because... They just, they, bring, they brought him up with 10 other dogs. So to keep all the dogs safe and to prevent them from fighting with each other, they keep the muzzles on them. And then they recommend that you keep the muzzles on 
for two weeks if you're like fostering. But since we're not fostering anymore, we can take it off if we want to. And we probably will pretty early on because we don't have kids or cats or small dogs or anything like that. Like we don't have any other pets. It's just Eric and I. So um, probably once he's a little bit more comfortable, he's still quite stressed right now because he's been through a lot today. Um, once that's done, then we'll probably start to take the muzzle off of him. But yeah, he is white and he's got these spots. They're like a black brindle, and so he's got a couple different big spots on his back. And then his face is very brindled as well. He's not gonna turn around for you to see it, but he's very pretty. He's three years old, and he's been super chill and just like lovey. He's a little overweight. Yeah, they said that he's like a little bit overweight for what a greyhound should be, but I think that that'll kind of even itself out. We've got to get him some vet appointments booked. Oh, he also, fun fact, only has three toes on one of his legs because they had to amputate one. We don't know why yet. Um, I don't know if we will know why, but a lot of times if greyhounds break their toe because of something to do with racing or um, if they get an infected toenail, they just amputate the toe. So one of his feet only has three toes instead of four, but it's no big deal. Doesn't matter to him. All right, you will get to see him more when he's home and we'll take the muzzle off so that you can see his beautiful face. He came inside the house and he's been so good so far. He's just been exploring and we're getting ready to go out for a walk. So we put his jacket on him and how cute does he look in his little coat? My goodness, it's adorable. All right, we're gonna go out for a walk. All right, so we have King home and we took him for a little walk and then we brought him back and we put him in his crate um, crate training is one of the biggest things that our adoption agency and our adoption program recommends. So we put him in his crate once we got home while we made his dinner and then to start training we did hand feeding to teach him the weight command. So basically we just like take the food in our hand and then we train him to like not attack our hand even though there's food in it and we move from like like this to like this to like with our hand open with the food in it and he did really really well I'm like so happy with how it went because by the end of his like amount of food I was holding the food out and he was acting totally disinterested until I gave him the go-ahead to eat his food which is really great so I'm gonna get, show you him in his crate so this is him he's hanging out He's very cute. He has been showing some of the like traditional signs of stress for greyhounds, which of course is normal because he's in a brand new environment. We have a water bowl and they said that they tend to knock over their water bowl. So we actually used, it's like a mixing bowl with a handle and we zip tied it to the edge. Um, we ordered some really cute bowls from eBay, but obviously they're not here yet, and this actually works better because it is zip tied, and the other ones we won't be able to zip tie. So he's super cute and he's just chillaxing. But you still haven't realized that that's not another dog. Hey, oh, shit. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Here. There we go. None of the doors are closed. Oh my god. I know, you've never seen in there. So we're currently doing some separation anxiety training where we pretend to leave and then 
go back in like a couple minutes later to prove to him that when we leave we're gonna come back because greyhounds have never been left alone so he does have a bit of separation anxiety even like last night we went into our bedroom and we left the door open but he still like didn't know where we were so he whined a little bit it he settled down and when i woke up this morning he wasn't he wasn't really anxious which is good um and then we like kind of ignored him in the morning and then now we are ignored him so that he didn't as soon as he see us so that seeing us again after he hasn't isn't a huge deal because that can also promote their separation anxiety so yeah right now we're just working on leaving him alone for little spurts because we're gonna try and go to a pet expo for like an hour so that'll be the longest he's been left alone literally ever so we have to work up to us going to work for the morning tomorrow so we like don't have a choice we got to figure this out so yeah so we're training him right now he's doing well he's being trained while he eats to wait and we've somewhat mastered the off command in certain areas like if he's roaming around and he gets his nose into something and we say off he gets off and he just walks away so that's good and we can like put food out in our hand and he won't eat it um, until we stop saying wait and we tell him he can have it so that's good too yeah overall you know first 24 hours is going well I'm gonna end the video here. We are now 72 hours into having King with us and he's doing great. He is doing really well with walking. He's totally yard trained. He is staying in his crate even when we like don't have the door closed, which is what we want for him just to be like chill so that we can trust him around the house and eventually be able to get rid of the crate and just have a bed for him and Everything is, yeah, just like going really well. He's starting to play with some of the toys that we got him because initially he just like kind of ignored them because he didn't know what to do with them. So that's good. Yeah, all in all, we are absolutely loving the heck out of him and we're just so happy. So you will definitely see him in more future vlogs because he's gonna be around for a while. So if you like Greyhound content, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and check me out on Instagram because I'll be posting pictures and videos there in my stories and stuff. All right, see you next time. Bye.